Believe it or not, everything you just saw was very, very real. We have a robot with an arm that can go and pick up and clean the entire floor. Now, it can pick up three main things. First, we have different open uh, heel slippers with no backing. You have different tissues, and then you have all kinds of socks that it can easily pick up. Now, I did have to manually go and pick up the toy, but it is able to go out on its own, clean up the entire floor, without me doing anything other than starting it. Now this is the Roborock Saros Z70. A huge thank you to Roborock for sponsoring this video. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. Now I firmly believe we are in the actual future timeline. This is a robot with a robotic arm to clean up anytime, which is amazing. Now. I know you're gonna ask, well, it probably doesn't clean as fast as I could. Now that's true, I could probably clean up the floor faster than I could, but can it clean up the floor faster than my kids? 100% yes. Can it clean up when I'm not home? Yes, it can. Can it clean up when I'm sleeping? Of course. And there are so many other cool things that this can do. This is the future. So let's talk about all the things that the Seros Z70 can do and how this is going to benefit your life. So first off, we have the Omni Grip Mechanical Arm. Now this is so cool because it can automatically identify different objects. It's going to pick up those that are in the way. And then it has two different places in which it can take those objects. So you have the dispense bin that it comes with and it can pick up a sock and then it can automatically take it to the bin and drop it in. You can then specify where a shoe placement would be. So we have this tray that I have that go on. You don't have to have the tray, but you just mark a territory where it's going to go and drop those slippers or other shoe items. So that's so cool that you have those two ways that can do it. And then as it's cleaning up, if a sock's in its way and it's at a time where it can clean, it's gonna pick up that sock, take it back, drop it in, and keep going so that it's not in its way and it continues to clean. Now, if you have Birkenstocks or slippers or whatever on the floor, it's gonna go and kind of just navigate around those and not pick them up yet. But then once it completes the first pass, the second pass it will come back and it will then sort those items. So it will then pick those up and take them back to the other placement. Now I also saw that it just picked it up and moved it out of the way so that it could then clean the spot in which the object that it was able to move was under, which was great to be able to do that. And then you also have tissues that it can pick up and move them to where you want them to go. Now there's actually a bunch of ways in which you can use the uh, Omni Grip arm. So you also have the option, other than having it automatically clean up, you can go into the app and you can turn on remote viewing and you can then drive around your home and you can see an item and you can say, sort this item, it automatically picks it up and takes it back. Please keep a safe distance. Or I can do manual, so I have full control remote of the mechanical active. arm. Now when I am viewing the camera here, this does say remote viewing active, which is nice to have for different privacy remote things. So here we have a few different things. So here I can twist the arm just like that. I can move up this arm, so we can go up pretty high. Remote we can go down. Active and then we can even push that forward and back. So then I have the option to open or close the Omni Grip. 
And so here we can then grab an item and it has a pretty firm grip. Now they say that it's able to pick up 300 grams. Now I was testing out a bunch of toys on our scale here and pretty much every toy that we had here. So hopefully one day we'll see more toys that it can automatically pick up, but right now you could manually do it. But um, lots of cool things that you can do there. Now I also have the option to go in and control this by joint. So we've already seen that one. If I just want to raise and lower this part, I can do that. And then I can also do that with the, the back here. So here we have all the different items on the side of what I can control, opening, closing, and all that. But we also have this other option at the top where we can go to the camera that's built into the arm right there. So I can see exactly what the arm is picking up and then I would be able to control that to grab an item that I want to pick up just like that. So here, let's go ahead and pick up this. So I'm gonna go to our motion. We're gonna go down. And once that's in place, we're gonna close the grip. And then we're gonna go up. Remote viewing active. And there we have our item. So the Omni Grip, so cool in all that it can do. Then it's gonna go back we can have it go back and sort the different item. And then once we're done, we can go back and exit. So then we have the emergency stop button. So if at any time it's grabbing or trying to do something it's not supposed to, you can press the emergency stop button and then that will prevent it from moving any further. Now built into here are all kinds of different sensors. So here I'm going to reset this. So if anything does get in the way, it has a sensor to be able to stop and protect the robot and protect you so that nothing is getting hurt or damaged. Now this is possible because of the two anti-pinch sensors, one here on the bottom of the arm and the next down by the tray. So it's great that there's so much tech built into here and it will let you know if it has any malfunctions, it's gonna stop and then maybe you know something came in here. I've seen somebody try to put a car in there. So just had to get that out before we continued on. So there when I held onto it or something grabbed onto it, it then goes into emergency stop mode as well. And then you go through the reset and it will continue to work. So one thing that is on the arm right there is a light. So it's able to see what is happening at night to be able to pick that up so that you are able to have a clean floor in the morning. There's even a camera and sensor up here um, to kind of look at that, see um, if it's picked up something and lots of cool stuff there. Now the great thing about this mechanical arm is it's AI powered. That means it's going to continue to learn over time and get better and better. I'm so impressed by what it can already do, but that's what's helping it know exactly what to pick up. It doesn't have eyes like we do. It does have a few cameras, but it's using all the different sensors to use AI to figure out exactly what it needs to pick up. And it actually stays away from other objects that wouldn't be safe for it to pick up. So it might pick up something that it thinks it's going to hurt it or someone else and stay away from those items. So having that AI enhanced mechanical arm really is the future. So that is the Omni Grip mechanical arm favorite feature by far. Next we have the flexi arm riser. So over here on the side, you have the spinning brush. And what that is doing is it moves out and as it's cleaning near corners, it's pulling in all the dirt and putting it down here into the free flow roller. Now with this design of the flexi arm riser brushes, it prevents hair from getting tangled on them and it has a 0% hair tangling rate. And then that's able to take all of the dirt and even the hair and everything so that nothing is getting caught. So you have the two series, you have the flexi arm riser, which is taking in the dirt and putting it into here. And then you have the free flow roller, which has this triangular design where that is able to prevent hair from getting tangled. Previously, I've had a lot of hair get on the side of these, but I've already ran this through, we've already cleaned the floor, and there is no hair on here. So there's very little maintenance on cleaning the actual robot other than just kind of cleaning it up every once in a while. So we're just gonna slide that back in, and then we can put this on. And that is the free flow roller. Now let's take a closer look at the adapt lift chassis. So this is how it's able to go over something that's three centimeters tall or something that does get up to four centimeters in the very middle. So maybe if you have a you know, little bit of a lip between one floor to the other, not a stair size, but it has something that it needs to kind of jump over, it is able to do that. So really excited to see how this works. 
With the Adaptive Lift chassis, it's able to go over a threshold of up to 1.57 inches or four centimeters. Let's see how it handles this. It did it, wow, that's impressive. So here it's using a combination of pushing the wheels and the chassis, and then as it gets closer to the little bump, it pushes itself over so it's not going to get stuck and easily transition between um, regular floor to another floor, carpet to hardwood, all kinds of things built right into here. Now, another feature that is really cool about the design is this is Roborock's slimmest robot mop vacuum ever. And it has all that other tech built in, which is so cool. So here you can see on the top, there is no LiDAR sensor. That's built into the front there and a little bit here at the back. And is what that means is this can be lower than anything. I've had other robots that have got stuck on furniture because of that LiDAR sensor at the top, but this has it in different places. Now the height of this is actually 7.98 centimeters tall, which is just the thinnest robot we've ever had here. And again, it's Roborock's thinnest robot. So it's really gonna have no problem getting under those couches that are a little off the ground, or in my case, different furniture that we have, and it's gonna be able to go under there, vacuum clean without any issues. So I love that slim design. Now I mentioned that this is using LiDAR to see where it's going, but the system is actually way more advanced than that. This is the industry's first Starsight Autonomous System 2.0. So what this means is that is 21 times faster at recognizing and detect and detecting where it's going. So LiDAR, it's just sending one light around, but this is sending a ton of different lights into the room so that it can see where it's going and it can see in all directions at once. It's using different time of flight sensors and a LiDAR combination with the 3D sensors to be able to see exactly what it's doing and have much more accurate navigation. The new Starsight system enables precise localization, comprehensive mapping, and reliable obstacle avoidance, all within a remarkable compact design. Now when I set up the floor cleaning, I put all kinds of crackers and things that are typically on the floor to have them be sucked up. And it had no issue getting all of that dirt. Now that's because built into here, it has 22,000 Pascal of suction power to get all of that picked up and taken off of your floor. And then in here, this is where it actually puts it into the dustbin here. When it's full, it will automatically go back to the base station and empty that out in the dustbin that it has. So it's gonna pick up your floor without any problems. Now, even when you have this on carpet, it's going to pick up all that invisible dirt that's there that you cannot see. There's four different suction options and in the max plus option, it's really going to suck deep and get all that leftover dirt that will eventually make your carpets dirty if you don't pick up. The one thing I've learned about having robot vacuums is I need to vacuum my home a lot more. So having this to be able to go out multiple times a week when I'm here or there is so nice to have to keep that dirt off the floor and out of the air. In the app, there are a ton of different options that give you total control of how this is operating. Some of my favorite features are I can have it clean and vacuum the carpet first before it goes and gets the mop pads wet, but you actually don't need to worry about that because it can automatically lift up the mop pads or it can actually take the mop pads off at the base station. So it goes to the base station, drops the mop pads, it goes out, does all the carpet cleaning or the vacuuming, then it'll go back, pick up the dual roller brush pads again, get them wet and then go out and do the mopping in just the hardwood floor areas. That is one of the coolest things I've had. I've always been worried, what if it accidentally tries to um, start mopping the carpet? That's not a good thing. Now being able to do that automatically without me having to do anything really gives some peace of mind while this is out cleaning my floor and I know that it's going to do a great job. Now the final feature of the roller here is it's able to do a side brush mop. So that means as it's cleaning, it's able to extend this out and clean right up next to the edge. As you can see here, it's not at the very edge of the robot, but this extends it out so it can clean right along the edge of your wall or around a chair or anything that it kind of makes it a little hard to get to. 
it is able to do that with these roller mop pads. And that completes all the features of the mop pads. I didn't think it can get any cooler, but there's so many things that this can do. And then once it is done mopping, it's gonna go back, automatically wash the mop pads at the base station, and then it's going to dry them so that they're fresh and clean, ready for the next cleaning. And here back at the all-in-one base station, this is where it's able to make sure everything is running properly. So here at the bottom, you have the place where it's cleaning the pads as well as dropping the mop pads when it goes out to vacuum. Next, you have your dustbin right there so that you can easily replace that when it is full. And we'll come back to empty its dustbin in the robot to here. And then up here, we have the dirty water tank and then we have the clean water tank and these are actually really big even though they're not very deep they're very wide this way so there is quite a bit that is able to fit in there now i talked a lot about different smart home products and the good news is the Cero c70 is compatible with matter so that means you can directly integrate it with apple home google home or smart things amazon all those different products also built in is its own voice assistant hello rocky Clean here. I am trying to find you. So there's a bunch of different voice commands you can use, but now it's going to find me and clean right where I am. It just said it has found me and it's going to start cleaning. That's epic. I'd say that's pretty accurate. And here in the app, you can see all these different voice commands you can use from cleaning to going back to the base station to pausing this is so helpful that you don't even have to open the app to do this you can just ask it to do specific things and it will do that so you have cleaning you can do dot control you have pause and resume you can change robot settings and then you have room cleaning so so nice to have it all right within here without needing to open the roborock app and then lastly, all of this is being controlled within the RoboRock app. So from the base station cleaning settings to the robot settings to the dispense bin where you're placing this or where you have the location for it to take the slippers back or whatever it may be. Let's dive into the app and look at a few of the settings available. So we just need to tap enter and there we can see our map. So it automatically mapped everything. I was able to go in and cut up some of the rooms to have them be segregated or we can merge them to put them together. And then it also kind of figured out where some of the things were. I went and added there were carpets in certain areas, but very simple to use. Down here, we can choose if we wanna clean rooms or if we wanna do zones or create different routines. And then up here at the top, we have the option to easily edit. So one of the things is you can create no-go zones. Maybe it might get stuck in an area or something like that, you could have it create the no-go zone. You can add furniture, edit the surface type, but here we have the storage zone. So you can have two storage zones. So we have the one right here, which is this storage zone in the bin. So we've marked that and you can move it around. You can increase the size of what that is, but then we have our other storage placement right here. So this is going to be where the slippers are going to be sorted to. So we can then save those locations. And to control the mechanical arm, I did need to go into the settings and I went to robotic arm settings and I had to enable this. And then you need to go and set up a pattern and then that allows you to view this. Now this is very secure, it's all within the app and here you need that password to get it into here. But then here I have the options where I can control it so I can easily go forward. I then have the option down here to remote control pick up and it will then extend the arms. If it doesn't see anything to pick up, it will put the arm back, but let's see what it does. Okay, I think it has spotted the item. Remote and we can go to the other view here. There we can see it has picked up the sock. And there we go, and we can open the pinchers and complete. And up in the top here, we can even talk through the robot, which is pretty fun. So now that we're done, we can tap exit. It's gonna put the mechanical arm back down. And then we can tap dock and it will automatically dock. 
And so that is the Roborock Seros Z70. This is such an amazing product. We really are in the future. Great that it can automatically pick up for us or even the kids. If you want to learn more, make sure you check out the link down in the description below or search Roborock on Amazon to pick up yours today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Remote viewing active. <laughs>